Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another placement video of my channel. And as you know from the thumbnail that in this video, we are going to talk about MTech AI students. So, you know, I hope you all know that I am making this series of placement video this month. And I have already covered uh, IIC Bangalore, uh, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Madras, how placement has happened there, specifically for the CSE department. And in those videos, I got a lot of comments from you people, from my subscribers, that make a video about MTech AI students, how well the placement has happened in, in respective IITs for the MTech AI students. So that's why I have collected the information about all the top IITs, that is IIT Kanpur, Kharagpur, Madras, Bombay, Delhi, and IIC Bangalore, that how the placement is happening there for MTech AI student, that will be the content of in this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned to this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say that if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. With those further delay, let's start into today's video. So let's first start with IIT Delhi. Uh, I hope you all know in IIT Delhi, uh, in School of Artificial Intelligence, there they offer MTech in Machine Intelligence and Data Science in short minds. Uh, it's, it's actually MTech in AI. Uh, so there are total 14 students who has appeared for placement this year. And I collected this data uh, till day 5. I mean on the, on, the, on the 5th of December. The data is till 5th of December that I have collected. Till 5th of December, uh, 6 out of 14 MTech students had placed. And the companies which has taken these 6 students are Honda, Typeface, KPIT, PayU, InfoH and MathWorks. So these uh, six company has taken six students. So I hope each of them has taken one student. Uh, everyone got placed in AI role except MathWorks has offered SD role. So except MathWorks, uh, all the other companies like Hunda, Typeface, KPIT, PayU, InfoH, all has offered AI role or data science role. Now Honda has offered an international uh, you know, job offer. Um, their job location is Japan and the package that they were offering was 11.7 million yen. Yen is the currency for Japanese. Uh, so 11.7 million yen is the CTC that they offer uh, for the student. You, you can convert and see what is the what is the you know money in terms of Indian currency. But yeah, remember the job location is Japan, not in India. Apart from that, the least CTC was 20 LPA. And, 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 and there are other four offers that CTC was 24 for two companies, 28 and 25. So I don't know, you know, which company has given these offers. But yeah, 24, 25, 28, 20 LPA, these are kind of the CTC that is being offered to MTech AI student. And till day five, only six out of 14 students got placed in these companies. So this is kind of the information about IIT Delhi MTech in AI or uh, MTech in Machine Intelligence and Data Science or uh, Minds. Now moving towards IIT Bombay. In IIT Bombay also they have Center for Machine Intelligence and Data Science or in short C Minds. Now in C Minds there is no MTech students as of now. In 2022 it got established and they, they recruited MS students, MS in AI and PhD for AI uh, domain they have recruited. So in 2022, the first batch was started with the MS and PhD student. And as you know, MS typically takes 2.5 to 3 years. So first batch of MS students is yet to be passed or yet to be graduated. But you know, only one guy from, from that pool of students who has completed his uh, MS within two years. And you know, he has opted for placement last year. And after that, you know, he got some off-campus recruitment. So he got into National Payments Corporation of India. So that guy who has already completed the MS from uh, Siemens and IIT Bombay, uh, he got into NPCA. Apart from that, few students, uh, this, this year in placement session also, few students got, uh, you know, they, this, they, they went for placement in this year placement session. And they got into Qualcomm, Flipkart and Fujitsu. But what are internal news I am getting that even these students who are getting some offer from on campus or off campus, they have some PP offer also. But most of them are planning to go for PhD. And, you know, most likely they will be converting their MS into PhD. So this is the scenario of MS in AI at IIT Bombay in uh, Center for Machine Intelligence and Data Science or CMINES. 
Apart from that, you know, I have already talked about MTech in AI at IIC Bangalore. In my first video in this month, I talked about that in IIC, you know, people are not getting AI jobs. And there I have mentioned that only 50% student till 30th November got placed in IIC Bangalore from MTech in AI. I don't have any further update on that. I'm still trying to get, get information from, from different sources. But yeah, that was the kind of, uh, in, you know, update that I had till 30, 30th. Um, November that you know for 50 percent students from MTK around 25 out of 52 that was roughly the figure they got placed in uh, different companies. Now moving into IIT Kharagpur and IIT Madras in both these institutions MTech AI got started this year in 2024. So you know this is the, the batch of students who have just completed their first semester uh, so, you know, it's not possible that they will be appearing for placement this year. Uh, so, we have to wait. Maybe in the next year, around this time, we'll be getting the information about IIT Madras, I'm taking AI and IIT Kharagpur, I'm taking AI. And the last one is IIT Kanpur. Unfortunately, in IIT Kanpur, there is no MTEC in AI or MS in AI that is available. So, so there is no data about uh, how the AI students are performing in IIT Kanpur. So this was the rough idea about all the top IITs and ISC, how MTech AI students are uh, performed. So in most of the IITs, you know, they have just started MTech in AI since last year, like IIT Madras, IIT Kharagpur, I told you that they have started MTech in AI curriculum from last year. But IITs like IIT Kanpur is yet to start such a curriculum. Even in IIT Bombay, we have only MS in AI, they don't have MTech in AI. And I think, you know, they started taking it seriously since last year because since last year, this new paper, GATE DA paper got introduced. And since then, uh, from different IITs, they started, you know, thinking about whether they should introduce a new curriculum from M for, for MTEC in AI uh, for those students who will be cracking this new paper, GATE DA. So apart from ISC Bangalore and IIT Delhi, as of now, there is no full-fledged MTEC AI curriculum, which is ongoing. In IIT Kharagpur and IIT Madras, they have just started. So you have to wait a bit. Uh, maybe next year we'll be getting a data about how placement has happened in these IITs and also have to wait that whether IIT Kanpur and IIT Bombay will introduce MTech in AI this year. But yeah, this is kind of the overall scenario about how the MTech AI students are performing in, in different IITs. Specifically, I have shared IIT uh, Delhi, uh, they have these minds. And IIC Bangalore, I already share MTEC AI students how well they have performed. In both of the cases, I will say the perf you know the statistics is similar because in IIT Bombay also around 50% student got placed. In IIC Bangalore also, I told that around 50% student got placed in IIC Bangalore from MTEC AI. MTEC in AI. And one mm -hmm. more similarity is that in both the cases there is no big name. Uh, in IIT Delhi, I told you that all of these names they are kind of startups except Hyundai and Matros, others are startups. Similarly, I, I have tell, told you that in ISC Bangalore also there is no big name which is with the campus. So this is not a good thing because we, you know, we expect big names like Amazon, Flipkart, uh, Microsoft, Recom, they will come to these IITs, they will recruit data scientists from these IITs. But yeah, let's see, uh, I mean, still the placement session is going on, at least in IITs it's going on. And once the placement will be up, I'll make a separate um, statistics video about them taking AI in different IITs. Uh, maybe that will come after a few months when the placement will be officially over in, in different IITs. But yeah, I mean, as of now, this is our overall idea about how placement is going on in different IITs for specifically for MTech AI students. And I hope this video will be helpful for those students who are preparing for get DA because I know they are keep on asking me that please share how MTech AI students are performing in different IITs. So this is the data that I have just shared you. So if you have liked this video, uh, please like it and share this video to other people. And if you have any other query, let me know in the comment section so that I can answer them. And you know, that's it about this video. So if you if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon because a lot of videos about placement session will be coming up. I'm constantly in touch with different IITs and I'm trying to gather data from different departments, not only CSC and AI, I'm trying to gather information from different departments. But the problem is, you know, I don't know much student from other departments. So that's why sometimes I, you know, I don't get, get data about other departments, but I'm, I'm trying my best to gather the data and whenever I'll get the data as soon as I'll be sharing with you in some new video. So, you know, subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, stay tuned. So that's it about this video. I'll be meeting this video until then. Bye.